Hey guys, good morning, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to another video. And guys, this morning we're going to talk about how we are manipulated by numbers. We are manipulated by numbers, but we ignore. excellence we are fascinated by numbers but we ignore the magnitude of the beauty of earth of natural things see guys we, we are programmed to worship the god of this of this earth which is which is money we are programmed to worship those things how do i know that because money is deliberately limited to make you so thirsty that you would do anything for it. Like there's, there, there's tons, billions, trillions, quadrillions of dollars Currency, money, yen, euro, dinero in the world. It's an unlimited supply. It's everywhere. But it is deliberately withheld from the people. It's made as a scarcity to force you and I to act barbaric and savages to get it. Although there's plenty of it. It's not scarce at all. It's not rare at all. There's plenty of it. You have people with billions and billions of dollars. You have people with enough money they would never spend in five lifetimes. They would never spend it all. Because once you accumulate that much wealth, that much money, Money starts to replicate itself. It starts to multiply itself. Because money is an energy. It is a currency. And it can come alive. It start multiplying itself. You know? So that's why you cannot worship money. You can appreciate money. You can be grateful and thankful for the things that you have because money is the equivalent of a resource. Just like when an animal kills its prey, that's a resource. They didn't they, they don't they don't go to work to get the money to buy their prey. They go straight to the prey and kill it and eat it. They kill their fuel to eat. They eat the fuel that they need for life. So money is not the fuel. It's the resource that we need to go and get the fuel. And when, when, you, when you have a system that withholds that money, 
limits its circulation. It creates a, a poverty mindset. It creates a mindset of scarcity. That's why I'm saying $250,000 is nothing. Guys, you got to take the power out of the money. The power's in the resource. Take the power out of the money. You're giving the money too much power. It's a resource. Just like your time is a resource. Your energy is a resource. You can acquire money again, but you can't get your time back. So your time is way more valuable, a lot more valuable than money. Because it is a limited resource. But they print and burn money every day. The Treasury Department print and burn money every day. So the reason people are poor and starving is because the circulation is not flowing. The same reason an animal may starve to death. They're going to starve to death because the food is not flowing. There is a, a drought. The crops are dying because there's a drought. One part of the country may be raining, storming, monsoon. It's flush with rain. So, it, so that area flourish. Another area is a desert. There's no rain. So that area does not flourish. Same thing with money. So if the earth could manipulate the weather and keep all the rain on one side of the earth, one side will flourish, the other side will suffer. If the earth could keep the sun on one side of the earth and keep the other side in darkness, one side will flourish, the other side will suffer. So that's how men do with money. Men keep all the money or most of it on one side of the system. One side fl flourish, the other side suffers. And the only reason the other side that's suffering get any relief is because the side that's flourishing need the people that's suffering to make them flourish. But in the analogy of the rain and the desert, the Amazon don't need the desert. So the Amazon get to keep all of the rain. But what end up happening is the Amazon will come become too flush, too wet, too moist. Same thing with the sun the sun will get it'll get too hot too dry so you need balance you need balance the sun can always shine on one side it, it can't always rain in one area because it'll flood so you need you have to have balance so one side won't suffer as much And the side that's, that's flourishing, it will start suffering also. So it's the same thing it is with money. That's why all wealthy people are not happy. They're not content. They only are content when they are making somebody else suffer. That's what brings them satisfaction. Because they need to see that 
I have more value than you. See, the earth can't think nihilistically and evil like that. But humans, we can. And we can know that somebody else is suffering. But if your consciousness is dead, you don't have empathy to know that somebody else is suffering. So you don't care. So you, you just don't care. You will, you will rather go spend $250,000 on your fifth car than to help your employee that's suffering. That's how we think. It's an illness. It's an illness created by the program. Because the, the program, which I'm going to call the matrix, the program, you're programmed for pain, suffering, and hate. Those are the, That is the program. And if somebody with resources is running that same program, they're going to make sure they're not the one that's in pain. They're going to make sure they're not the one suffering. But they're going to make the other side suffer and be in pain. And we know what pain and suffering creates. It creates despair, hate, envy, lack, everything that everything that destroys your soul. So that's how it works, guys. That's why you have to take the power out of money. We we only it only has as much power as we give it. We put the power into it. Hold on, guys. We literally give it power. Well, actually, the the, the resource. Is the fuel, the power, the energy that we need to thrive. So, guys, so what all I'm saying is take take the power back and put it back in you. Use the money to fuel you. To fuel you and who you are. Don't don't weaponize the money to hurt other people. Use the money to help other people. To give them fuel. Because a person with no dream, no hope, nothing, they don't even care about the money. Like one time I gave a homeless guy, I think two or three dollars. But he was so, he was so broken that he didn't even want it. He was so poor, so broken, and he was suffering so much that he didn't even want it. This is like trying to give a starving animal food. They, they can't eat it because they got to be their stomach, their system have to be built back up in order to eat the food because if they ate it, they, they would make themselves sick no matter how hungry they are they can't eat it but see us, but the humans we can eat when we're not even hungry. We can just eat. We can just eat and eat and eat when we're not even hungry. Because the hormone in us, we can ignore it. We can ignore that full sensor that's in our body that tells us that we're full. We can ignore it and continue to eat. 
that's a program that's running, that's telling you to continue to eat to destroy yourself. That's a program. That's a mind virus that's in your brain and your psychology that's telling you to ignore the sensory, the hormone that's, that's in your body that's telling you that you're full. And that hormone sends a signal to your brain when you are about 75% full. And there's a delay with that sensory. And if you keep eating, by the time you get the signal, you've already overeaten. Because there's like, I think it's a 15 minute, 20 minute delay in the signal from the time it gets to your stomach to tell your brain that you are full. Same thing when you're hungry. You get a signal that's tell you that, that you're hungry. But sometimes that signal is triggered by other programs that you're running. And you might not even be hungry. But it triggers it based on the time of day. You may get a trigger in the morning. You may have you may get a trigger at noon. You get these different triggers throughout the day based on other sensories and programs that are running in your environment. So at 11, 12 o'clock, you're about to say, oh, we normally eat at 11, 12 o'clock. Even though you're not hungry, I'm going to send a signal that say you're hungry because of the time. Because everybody else is eating in the time. And you might not even be hungry. See? So when you're talking about money, you got to realize that it's just a medium that you use to go and fuel yourself, guys. You are the you are the the the, the rare asset for those who want to resurrect their consciousness and claim their divinity. I'm talking to those people. If you're fine being the run of the mill, hold on, guys. If you're fine being the run of the mill piece, of, you know, um, piece of dirt, you know, a leaf or cheeseburger, whatever you just want to be average, that's that's on you. But some people want to be the prime steak. Some people want to be the main cut. The best cut. I'm talking to those people who want to be the, the cream. The cream de la cream. All those people are relevant and we are, we need those people in society to inspire other people. We need those trees. We need those huge. Everybody can't be shrubs. Everybody don't want to be shrubs. We need those trees in society. Those people that are huge trees because they give shade to everybody else. Those trees. But if you just want to be a shrub, you really can't help anybody else because you're too short and stubby. You want to be like a little shrub. But no, we need those pine trees those oak trees to help resist the wind and provide shade for us in our lives. We need those trees because those trees fertilize the earth. So some people can't help it. They're going to grow to be a huge tree to help fertilize the earth and give shade to the people who don't have the desire or passion to, to do more. They're relevant. And we need them. But they just can't offer the same amount of shade that the oak tree and the pine trees can offer. And the wind resistance. And fertilization. We need those things, guys.
So guys, that's what this video is about, guys. Taking the power from money and putting it back in yourself. Don't give all your power away. You're giving your power away to shoes. You're giving your power away to purses. You're giving your power away to, to makeup. You're giving your power away to wigs, fingernails. You give your power away to outfits. You're giving your power away to cars. You're giving your power away to sunglasses. You give your power away to cologne. You give your power away to, to other people, to celebrities. You give them your power. You give your power away to your house. You're giving your power away to things that don't deserve your power. Now your house, they do provide shelter for you. But a $5 million house is going to provide the same amount of shelter as a $500,000 house. It's going to provide the same shelter. So you're giving it too much power. You don't want to give it too much power. You want to give it just enough power so you can go in there and recharge yourself. All that power that you're giving to all these objects and things should be given to people. Because we are the organic power that keep everything alive. Hold on, guys. To keep everything alive. You give that power to your children. That's who you give it to. You give it to your friends and family. That's who you give it to. Not all of it. Just give them a portion. Give, just give them something to keep them, you know, keep them going. Keep them motivated. You know, with this money, time, assistance, help. No matter what it is. You might you might not always be able to get money. But you may be able to give them some 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 other kind of assistance, help, motivation. You're just your just your presence, just you showing up. Sometimes you have so, uh, enough power, just your presence alone will inspire someone. Word of encouragement, give them some advice. Whether they take it or not, that's on them. You come back a year later, they still haven't taken it, that's on them. You can't force a person to accept your advice. Just like God can't, can't force people to listen to his word. People ignore God and, and their advice, the doctor's advice. They, they, they ignore the lawyer, the doctor. They ignore the law. People ignore all kind of stuff. The diet, the, the nutritionist, the exercise expert. They ignore all kind of stuff. People ignore probably 80% of the things that will help them, and they accept 80% of the things that will hurt them. That's just how people are. Because of the programs that are running, the programs are violent and destructive. It wants you to adopt that negative energy. They don't want your positive energy because your positive energy may be boring. They want the negative energy because the negative energy, you know, it creates excitement and, and it's edgy. You know, something to talk about. Yeah, let's talk about this. No one wants to talk about chakras. No one want to talk about peace and love. It's boring. You know, the program wants you to be, have fun and, and drama and excitement and gossip and, and all kind of, you know, buffoonery. That's the program. The program can have convinced you that life is in chaos. Not peace. Okay, guys. That's it for that video. Guys, keep your house clean. Keep your life clean. Keep your car clean. Keep your mind clean. Keep your body clean. 
guys, download and deploy your anti virus software, debug and unplug from the matrix, drink plenty of spring water to flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poisons that's in the food supply. Guys, you are being poisoned by fast food restaurants and by the grocery stores. The grocery stores is literal a chemical plant. You've been poisoned by all the ultra processed foods that's in the chemical plants. So guys, remember to stay focused, stay passionate, work on resurrecting your consciousness because it's dead. That's why you can't see the violence of the program in the matrix because you think it's normal. You think that's how it's supposed to be. You think you're supposed to hate and, 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 and be nasty. But guys, choose another path. There are plenty of paths out here. Choose another one. If this one's not working for you, choose another one. That one might be too steep. That one might, too, might, might have too many rocks. Another one might be covered in, in horse poop. Don't matter. Choose another path, guys. A path that may be shadier. It may be sunnier. It may have a brook by it where you can get some water. You know, there are many paths. Choose the one that's going to make you a better person. Guys, until next time, Contraband 777, I'm signing off. Now go and conquer yourself. Peace.